Aliel, it's finally here. January 2019, mathematics paper 2. Let's jump right in. Now, this is not a explaining video, this is just a solutions video for the people who are hungry to see the answers and I'll be going through the whole paper and giving my feedback on the paper in a whole. So question one, 20, you know question one is start off with some little easy thing. So hopefully you just get them free four marks there. But watch this, watch this. This part in question one. Binary numbers. Binary numbers and standard deviation came in this paper. Two major surprises. But I've been warning y'all, people who was watching the channel would not have been surprised because y'all would know you had to revise this because the new syllabus, right? Um, after, this is a little depreciation thing. That was the answer there. Uh, I, I, and also the, the statements here you would see the best statements in the world here i'm just peeling through to show you the answers right um what's this way this was <laughs> this is interesting because they actually give you the marks for each paper in the exam so this is for, for people just to see some marks about the actual csec mathematics examination so you can feel bad about yourself or good about yourself in the exam one time and then question two started we had some nice stuff coming up in question two simple subject of the formula factorization now notice how this was right there was not c in this way so just pull out the x uh, i explain those things um and here we had is this way anyhow there's the answer oh yeah yeah I, I, this paper i love this paper you know you know the paper had one or two mistakes in it but the writers I love this paper, it really tested mathematics, it really made it think. I know some people was, well, must be grumbling, like, so you can say I love this paper. But it was nice, I love the paper, it was nice. Answers there, so you just need to prove something. There were lots of proofs and show that, and people were complaining that physics was in maths, but it was very applicable, you know? Uh, nice little. Um, Proportionality variation, this you get k, then you substitute, you get k, then you get your little answers there. Then you move on to question three. You know, you have your construction. Oh, shucks, I forget to darken this with a whatever. Boom! So, something like this. Don't forget your little um, construction lines. This was real easy. A free four marks if you ask me. And then we had a next proof here. Um, that was like a trigonometric identity, almost ad ish but it was it was laid out. It beautiful paper examiner. Anyhow, C squared equal to Pythagoras theorem, and you had some sign stuff, and then you had to prove this guy using what you had before. So obviously, you could pause the video and check it out if you want to, but I'll explain it on another video. This is just solutions. Um, the division by zero undefined so x is equal to five this was one of the long questions h inverse this is probably the hardest way they could bring inverse of a function finding the inverse when you have two things and you need to factorize all the y and then what is the same let y subject um interchange make the y the subject of the formula same thing um then we had what we had here boy oh yeah your little coordinate geometry you must have your coordinate geometry coming in Coordinate geometry was not bad, you just had to use the graphs basically. Um, then the equation of the line, then the equation of the, you know they always ask me about a perpendicular or parallel line. And they tried to make it a little clever, but it wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, you all will check over this, you know I just speed through this as soon as I get this to upload for, for, for the people, right? So you'll check over, I'm not perfect, if CXE could make mistakes, I could make mistakes too. Alright, so um, all your pie chat. Pie chat popping in the exam. Hmm. No longer waiting for a pie chat to show up again, man. Alright, so you have a little pie chat here. It was nice, it was sweet. So in statistics we had a pie chat. So I don't know why I could interpret for that for your June June or May exams coming up in 2019 here. And a little probability based off of the table to just finish off your statistics. Um, percentage of blah, blah, blah. so more probability there um you had to kind of use some thinking with where this was involved because it wasn't direct the table was incomplete and then they're asking you about the incomplete values so you had to use values you have you can pause the video and check out what i did um the standard deviation oi standard deviation what do you think about that 
Haven't I been saying uh, the standard deviation could touch down and all here? Well, look at touch down here, but it only touch down for one mark. So, me and people, make sure, you know, make sure you know about standard deviation. You might even want to practice a question involving standard deviation. You have it in your SBA, but you don't know how to do it for a real exam. So, uh, N missing here. Wait, 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 wait. You go pay ten right, yes? <laughs> Alright, so standard deviation just talks about how the data is spread. There's a diagram here, you probably can't see it. Come closer, brother. Uh, now the light, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to darken now because there's a circle and uh, if I do that free and it's going to look too good. Alright, so um, in a depth. Oh, they're always bringing these kind of depth questions. I just knock my thing. They're always bringing these kind of depth questions, boy. But you notice the depth stop here at the base. So this was a little tricky. This was a tricky one. And, and, and students complain about these questions because they're tough. But they had to do it because it's maths, right? So capacity, volume of the outer cylinder, volume of the inner cylinder, take away. You'll get a new volume there for the material because you have to get the volume of the material. Now, but don't forget to add the base because the base is solid. And then you get that. Hopefully I didn't do any mistakes in that calculation there. I don't even have a calculator. I do this on my iPad. Anyhow, mass density thing. Um, right. Uh, yeah, I left my calculator in school. So I had to write, um, use my, cal my iPad for iPad calculator. Why are telling all you all this? Anyhow, the number seven. We have, you know, your normal series and sequences. This is a part I love. They add in a little, show that no figure can have a perimeter of 100 units. You gotta go and think now about that. I will have a lot of fun explaining these questions one by one because they, there was so much maths in it. And the maths part and the thinking math, I, I'm sure people would love that. Uh, hopefully, by people, I mean you, right? And then we go into section two. Section two, you know, we have the algebra re relations, functions, and graph. They train algebra there, right? Um, quadratic graph came in here. Then, what did we have? Oh, yeah, yeah. so you use the graph, you find the points of the maximum, the maximum point. Yeah, um, that's actually for the maximum point. Yeah, coordinates are the maximum point. Then they ask you for when it's more than zero. So you're gonna use that. Then they ask you something about gradient. When was the gradient at the maximum point? So you know it's zero because it, it just zero at the maximum point. Then we went into some um, linear programming almost, but but in the linear programming, they didn't even go into a graph. So it was yeah, this is this this. This part here, so somebody tell me about this part now, help me, examiner who write this question, talk to me while you're trying to tell me here, inequality, this part is an inequality for real or equation, because here you say each day Mr. Thomas uses this amount of money, so you say he used this, so it's almost like he has to use $163, and this is the parameters for the cake and the juice, right, but then you come and say inequality, but I'm sure you probably mean less than or equal to 163 because that's what these questions always turn out to be but the word in there, I don't watch the word in so um what's next? phasing out here is 12 o'clock show that one oh yeah so you use the information from before you get some you get some stuff um you have to show that this the concept in the questions was just nice like they take the time and come out with some dread questions here all right so yeah you have to show why it's not possible for him to do that so you know it's about the spending limit which you mentioned before because it must be um less than that kind of money day 163 or whatever it was um oh yeah people complain about this but i know somewhat everybody should have got out the first part um and you hear me talking about people, I really communicate with people on my Instagram and I help them with the SBAs and stuff. Don't send me your SBA, don't send me your homework anymore. My inbox ram cram and everything back and full, full running. But during the holidays, I help going up to hundreds of people in, in that. But, but it's just too late for that now, Frankie. So you had to do your SBA by yourself. But I do have a sample SBA and I might send you the sample SBA if you 
inbox me on my Instagram and I have a beautiful one of the best videos set of videos I do a series I did was on this circle geometry so look out for that real people is watch it um, you could go and learn everything about these questions there uh, this was the hardest part of the question but you should have seen that angle that the center is twice the angle at the circumference so this angle this angle this angle this angle this angle you see it anyhow that's how I get the answer 150 and writing and all that all you know that uh, here gets the hardest question award because everybody complain about this question on the two ships because it was once again this that the question was beautiful but it was ruined by some pause okay here's what here's my problem with this question the person seeing two ships coming s1 and s2 right approaching the coast blah 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 the angles of depression are 12 and 20 respectively s1 and s2 12 20 so s1 should be 12 the angle of depression to s1 should be 12 the angle of depression to s2 should be 20 look where s2 is look where s1 is angle of depression always taken from the horizontal so this has to be 12 obviously and this has to be 20 because it's just bigger but look where s2 and s1 is or ah problems problems and that real students complain about that some of my really bright students were like uh, what's going on here so talk to me so um see actually i don't know all you're doing with this question and all you're marking this question unless i'm just interpreting something wrong and missing something completely this question was messed up now you can still do the question if you just state what what it is you're finding right and you just go along and you just ignore that piece of stuff that they had there but I mean this could really throw somebody off who under real stress doing their exam and sweating and then they come and see this and they're looking and they know the matins are hot so they're not thinking to question the paper and you know uh, has some mercy has some mercy so but people make mistakes yeah people make mistakes are you but cxc i'm just saying if you're looking for somebody to you know do the exam maybe the day before you release the exam you could always contact kerwin springer just saying you know i wouldn't share it i would not share it on youtube the day before the exam for all my youtube my loyal youtube subscribers okay i'm being sarcastic um but maybe you should invest in somebody um i don't know how to get a blind method for people to review questions before you put them you all will figure it out anyhow this was the question if you just do it straightforward you need to use a little sign rule because the accent for this line here so you use a sign rule once again and i explain any question in depth and you use, to find the height you use a little soca to our thing because then you'll have to use this big triangle out here so so you could pause the video and and look at what i did and see if you can figure it out or just wait until i upload the explanation sometime Vectors and matrices was nice and sweet. You need to show that non signaler normal stuff. Um, then, what was this boy? Oh, you, you do a little multiplication. Here, you could actually bring across this and get the inverse and do the whole simi dimi. But you could actually just multiply and get two equations and we got what B and A are. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? State the reason. Oh, so because you know the number of columns is not equal to the number of rows, that's why it's not possible to multiply those there. And then last time I do the solutions, I leave all the vectors. I forget to turn the page. Look at turn the page earlier. Whole paper done. All right. So O A O C set it at that. Give them O X some kind of thing they have to do here. Just look at the solution. So you have O X O O Y. You add the two together bam and you get this number here that's supposed to be k or something right here k k is equal to that and that was the end of the paper it was beautiful the paper was beautiful apart from the little one or two mistakes that could I make you um <laughs> so while you think about the paper i think it was best well done cxc generally speaking i like the way the csec maths exam is headed i really do it's nice as of January this month, this channel is officially one year old. Big up all the subscribers and students who were here from last year. Day one subscribers. Feel free to shout happy birthday to the channel in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think the exam was. Look out for some more videos coming soon. Mm, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. I have lots of videos to help you succeed. Um, mash up your peoples then.